Hey folks, welcome to Running Amok Off Grid. We are Rob and Nick, and this is our family. Today you're in for a special treat, especially if you have young children, because today we're sharing with you an off-grid kids fable about an exceptional off-grid pig. So grab your kids and settle in for a fun episode for our new playlist for kids, Animal Tales with Cole Cole. Enjoy. Welcome to Animal Tales with Cole Cole. That's me. This is Maggie, Tilly, Sadie, Buddy. Today we're going to read the story, The Bravest Piglet. You might be able to see my pigs behind me. If you've got your book at home, go and get it so you can read along. Tell mum and dad that it's available on Amazon. So next time you can read along with me, The Bravest Piglet. This is my favourite spot to come and read a book. Four tiny piglets played carelessly in the warm sun. They ran, skipped and kicked up their tiny little trotters. They squealed and snorted, oinked and sniffed. They dug up the ground with their tiny snouts. Can you hear my pigs? Hey, pig pigs. Hello. One piglet was very giggly. She laughed at everything. One piglet was very bossy. She liked to make all the rules. One piglet was very strong. He could run and jump all day long. And one piglet was very kind making sure everyone was okay. <laughs> One day, the tiny pink piglet noticed that she was different. Suddenly, she felt like she didn't belong. She forgot how she would play happily with her brothers and sisters. She sat alone, wondering how they could love someone so different. Oh, poor little pink piglet. The tiny pink piglet's brothers and sisters missed her. They wanted her to play with them again. The tiny pink piglet didn't want to be different. She just wanted to fit in. She tried her best to be more like them. One day, the farmer moved their pig pen onto some fresh new grass. All of the piglets were too scared to walk out onto the wide open space. The brave little pink piglet ventured out onto the grass. Her brothers and sisters began to follow her. The piglets ate the fresh grass and began to run and play in the new open pen. How's that, piggy pigs? Hey, like that? Yeah. 
They thanked the tiny pink piglet for being so brave and for helping them to feel brave too. They told her how much they loved her and asked her to come and play with them. The tiny pink piglet felt very big and proud and played happily with her brothers and sisters. The tiny pink piglet was glad to be different because it helped her to stand up and believe in herself. She loved that she was different and she knew why it was important for everyone to be themselves. We are who we are for a reason, she said, so together each of us can shine. The four piglets played all day, doing what they love, each happy to be who they are. The tiny pink piglet smiled. She loved her home on the farm. There was nowhere and no one else she would rather be. The tiny pink piglet lives a life she loves. You are who you are for a reason. Be all you can be. Well, I hope you enjoyed the bravest piglet. She is a beautiful piglet. And we'll see you next time on Animal Tales with Cole Cole. Bye.